So, so welcome to tomorrow. I'm filming this at the end. Um, I thought I'd do this as a quick intro. So this is the machine all back together. Um, with the German Quartz layout. Um, the old uh, built-in joystick. Missing nub. 3D printed a new one. That goes on like that. Perfect. Um, expansion covers there is missing. So this is the 128 model. Um, as you can see, edge connectors. <laughs> so for the two joysticks, printer, serial interface, uh, that's the mic inputs, I guess. Up oh, the cassette. There's the monitor. And there's my, um, that's where the uh, UHF um, box went. So I've taken that out and put in, put in my own uh, DIN connector for the RGB out. So I bypassed trying to get, I've seen it, $100. $100 Australian plus I think $100 shipping from Spain for a replacement uh, cable to SCART. So uh, I thought, well, I'll just make my own. So there we go. Um, ROM cartridge goes in there. So I've got a boxed Enterprise 64, which I'll work on next. Um, that's got a, a QWERTY keyboard. Um, Yep, so this is the cartridge that came with it that basically just had the German basic or the German key. I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> I've, I've not used Enterprise as much. Um, I mean a 16K ROM, so I've stuck in a 32K ROM. I was got a 16K. I'll have, to, I'll have to check what's on it. I might dump it, see what's on it. Anyway, so it's got Cyrus and also the um, keyboard layout, so that's all good. And... Here's one of the joystick converters. Plugs into the control. You can see it's also keyed so that you can um, bless this mess, excuse this mess. The, um, you see there how they've got that nub at the top so you don't actually ac accidentally connect the printer to the joystick port and vice versa. So that's how that goes in. I only got one of these, so I don't um, try it. I'm hoping, I'm assuming I can just bypass it and stick in a um, a proper port on my 64 that I'm going to do up. Anyway, that's it. Pretty rare machine in Australia. So um, I remember seeing this when it came out because of the. Uh, with the built-in joystick, I thought that was uh, that was different, but it's all working. Very good. So this is my oh, a bit windy today. Enterprise 128. I've had for a little while now. It's in pieces at the moment. Um, Deutsche keyboard. Words. Um, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, so it's working. I have made only very simple modifications so far. Comes with a, the RGP output is a edge connector. Okay, so I have put in my own uh, DIN, DIN socket so that I can reuse the uh, same cable I can use on my Amstrad CPC. So I've done that. Uh, blue power LED and that's about it um, oh and heatsink on the Z80 so what I'm, my, what I'm doing today is the uh, the ROM I am going to replace it it's a 32 kilobyte ROM I'm going to replace it with a 64 kilobyte EEPROM 27512 with the latest um, X, EXOS 2.4 um, so to do that uh, A15 address line is currently um, tied to 5 volts so I just need to cut that there and then connect uh, connect that to A15 so which I believe you can find it right there so I'll just run the cable underneath 
So I will do that, and um, it's got a pair of 7805s <laughs> with a massive heatsink. So I'm going to replace those two with um, switching equivalents as well. Um, and I think that was probably all I was going to do on this one. So I'll get the EEPROM done now, and I'll do the regulators and get it all put back together and uh, see how it goes. Okay, after some effort I got the two linear regulators off. I'm going to use these um, these ones I got from EZSBC or EZSBC.com so um, I like these because Daniel will send them to you without the headers on which means that you can um, either mount them vertically or you can mount them horizontally depending on how you're replacing it. So, and these are actually quite slimline as well. So some other, some other ones I've got have um, got quite a bit of uh, componentry on the back, which is not suitable for this situation because we've got this big, nasty big heat sink that goes here. So only thing I need to worry about actually is when the heat sink goes on is make sure there's no contactivity there hmm wonder if I can oh, from that way no that'll be too close to the power input hmm put it on like that or put it on like that maybe I don't know it's a bit too close, sorry for my poor video skills, if I put it on like that, it might be too close to there, this one, oh, it might be a bit too close to the, yeah, so I'm going to have to stick it on like that, and then I've got some, um, whatchamacallit tape, I'll put some tape on the back maybe, See how that goes. There we go. Both are in. Got some, what's it called, capped on tape or something just to insulate it. And then I've also put it on this side as well. So that there is a small gap there, but make sure it's all good. And yeah, okay. So now I've just um, I've got the, oh, let me get the bloody speaker. I've got the A15 wired up to pin one of the EEPROM socket, so I just need to burn the new EEPROM. And um, I might, I really hate these ceramic capacitors. I might, oh, is it worth replacing them? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll leave them. If it ain't broke, 473, I've got 473s, I've got 104s, I was going to replace these, but these are um, 100 microfarad, I don't have any 100 microfarad um, axial, so I can't replace them. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alright, EEPROM and put it back together and see if it still works. Okay, seems to be working, if you excuse the mess. The keyboard's not connected, so maybe that's why it's not doing anything. But um, heat sinks are already done. Upgraded the ROM to 64K, 27.512. Put the latest uh, EXOS on. Blue power LED. Replace both the 7805 linear regulators with the modern switching version, so nice and cool. Um, and of course the RGB socket, which I did ages ago. So um, Amstrad CPC 6128 pinout, oh, 6128 plus pinout. So I will put the keyboard back on, and um, there's the cartridge. <laughs> and um, see if I can get anything more than this. 
before I put it fully back together, this is um, this is how the keyboard is. It's got the yeah those um, dodgy uh, ribbon strips. So rubber dome and um, it's the keys. This is the built-in joystick. Interesting, uh, interesting idea. Yeah, so I'll need two hands for this, so um, yeah, there we go. So it is working, you can see it's a blah 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 blah. <coughs> the only thing is I put in the English version of the ROM. Which is great, because I speak English, I want everything to be in English, but it's this one's a German keyboard, so you know, the, the umlauts, you have the umlauts, gives me the at symbol and um, a and uh, or a, a and uh, give me semicolon and colon of course q w e r t z gives me y and when I press y where z should be then z so I'll put in the German version hopefully that should well that will map map the keyboard but everything being German I don't know um, also means this EXOS 2.4 has got basic built in so you don't need to use the cartridge and um, currently 16k because uh, pin 1 is tied to 5 volts so I'll convert this to a 32k cartridge meaning I'll replace the ceramic capacitor as well um, so yeah, 32k cartridge, so I'm not sure what, what there is available, but that's handy. Okay, okay, I've figured out the how to increase this, so I have, I have, I've cut the uh, A15 line, pin 1, so it's no longer connected to 5 volts. And then checking here, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. This is the A15 line in the cartridge port. So I just need to connect that up to there. And I'll be able to fit 32K ROMs in here. There we go, too easy. All right, I'm done. Lots of experimentation. I've got the 2.4 version of EXOS. Enterprise, extensible, operators or something, I can't remember, extendable, something, uh, UK version, English version, but even though we've got the German keyboard, so what I've done here is I've replaced the original ROM, which I think was this um, Deutsche Arbeiter or something, German keyboard layout or something, I have put Cyrus 2 Chess on here, plus the German keyboard layout, so this was the key, so I've tried the, the BRD version of the XOS 2.4 and it just kept coming up English, whatever, you know, QWERTY layout. So I had to put BRD on here. Um, and it's now all working. Turn the power on. There we go. Press Z, and we get Z. Press Y, we get Y. So that's all good. Help. Okay, <laughs> of course the uh, error messages are in German. Um, ba -ba -ba. So we've got um, there. That's everything. All the stuff in German. We can switch to English keyboard if we want. Um, and we've got Cyrus 2 Chess. Why is down there? There we go. Working. Um, done. I've got an Enterprise 32 I'm going to do next. Um, I've 3D printed that. Oh, okay, yep, yep. I can use the Use the built-in joystick. Perfect. Okay, done.